2017 and yet we're still screwing filters onto the end of our lenses, there must be a better way than taking them on and off than that. Maybe there is. These are the Manfrotto Zoom magnetic filter adapters. I'm gonna show you how they work and also tell you just what I think of them. So here they are, these are the Manfrotto Zoom adapters. We've got a magnetic lens adapter here that screws onto the end of your lens and we've got a magnetic filter adapter that screws onto your filter. Now when you pop them together, the magnetism causes them to snap into place, thus make it an easy way to take filters on and off your lenses. So we've got a Sony A7 here, the Zeiss 2470mm f4 lens. It has a 67mm filter thread, so let's put a 67 millimeter filter adapter just on the end. Simple. 67 millimeter Hoyer ND filter, and we'll put the filter adapter ring on this. And now it should quite simply snap into place. That's quite secure there, it's not falling off anytime soon. So the first thing you're probably gonna wanna know is does this cause any vignetting? Well, this is a 24 millimeter lens and I haven't seen any at all. It doesn't seem to cause any vignetting with this filter combination. I've also used it at 22 millimeters on another zoom lens and it, I didn't actually see anything on there either. If you wanna try it at home to see if it will cause any vignetting with your filter setup, the easiest way to do it is to actually take two filters and put them together. If I just screw these, put these together like that, you'll see that the lens adapter combination is about the same thickness as a, a sort of standard filter. So if you put two together and put them on the end of your lens, you're gonna be able to see just whether or not it will cause any vignetting with your particular lens and filter setup. So the next question is probably gonna be, how strong are the magnets in these? What exactly can it hold? Well, let's find out. So on here, I have a... B plus W ND filter, a 72 to 77 millimeter step up ring. We've got a Hoya UV filter, a SLB 72 millimeter ND filter, an old Jessup circular polarizer, 67 millimeter, 72 millimeter step up ring. We've got a Marumi circular polarizer. And the Hoya ND filter we've just been using. This may cause a little bit of vignetting, but the magnets are quite strong there. They're not gonna, it's not really coming off. If I give it a big enough wobble, they're all fine, it's all okay. But as you can see, unless you're actually trying to shake it off, they're not coming off in a, in a hurry there. That's quite strong. So let's get down to some of the nitty gritty details on these. They're available in 49 to 82 millimeter filter thread settings and they aren't cheap. The lens filter adapter is between 25 and 30 pounds, depending on the fit, whilst the filter adapter side is between 10 and 13 pounds, again, depending on what size you go for. And then you'll need one of the filter rings for each of your filters, maybe two or three, depending on how many ND filters you use. Now that ends up quite pricey. If you only shoot with a single lens and maybe one or two ND filters, then you might be looking at sort of 50 pounds for the setup but it does save you a lot of time and they are very convenient. If you use drop-in square filters and a filter holder, these should be strong enough to hold that filter holder, but again, I'm not sure how much use they will be for you. What's perhaps more interesting is seeing where this range goes. It's highly likely that Manfrotto are gonna introduce a range of zoom filters, most likely ND filters and a circular polarizer. Now with the magnet, this bit built into the back of the filter, you'll only need the lens adapter and then you can use the zoom filters to simply snap on to the adapter. So for me, I'm gonna keep the 67 millimeter magnetic adapter on the end of my lens. I've got a couple of 67 millimeter ND filters and I've found so far it's great just being able to take them on and off and swap the ND filters really quickly, really easily. So that's the Manfrotto Zoom filter adapters. If you found this video useful, please hit like, hit subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with all the latest photo gear news and I'll be seeing you all very soon.